the manufacturers claim that these speakers, the KEF 2072s, are the ultimate in both design and technology. The brief given to the engineers was simple. Create the ultimate loudspeaker. Money, no object. Each hand-built speaker weighs over 10 stone. A pair will set you back 12,000 pounds. The tweeter in the middle of this mid-range cone features a unique vented three magnet motor system and a braced dome, creating a perfectly time-aligned point source whose directivity is optimized by the reprofiled cone, which obviously you already know means all the important bits of the sound come from the same place. These are the more modestly priced Mordant Short Mezzo 2s. They cost around £400 and they've received rave reviews for the quality of sound they reproduce. The new Mezzo range of speakers have pinched a bit of technology for Mordant Short's top of the range performance speakers. Now obviously they're much smaller so you're not going to get that depth of bass. But what they have got is this beautiful curved shape that really adds to the rigidity that gives it a very punchy, powerful performance. We wanted to see whether the really expensive KEF speakers are actually that much better than the Morden Shorts. They cost 30 times more, so are they 30 times better? But more than that, we wanted to see how closely both sets of speakers can reproduce real sound. So, we set up what promised to be a fascinating test using this man, Tim Daniel. He's a bit of a star singer-songwriter who supported Take That on their last tour. We wanted to find out if Jason and I could tell the difference between Tim singing live and a recording of the same song being played through our speakers. First, we had to make the recording of Tim at the Alexandra Theatre, on the same stage where we conduct the speaker test to keep the acoustics identical. To make this test fair, both sets of speakers were plugged into the same top-end Marantz system and carefully positioned by professional sound engineers. Any differences we heard would be purely down to the speakers. The final component needed for the test was us. Blindfolded, we were led to our seats and then we were finally ready to begin. For acoustic consistency, Tim sat on the stage throughout the whole test. Even though the first time we heard his song, it was the recording being played to the cheapest speakers, the 400 quid Mordant Shorts. Wow. Wow. The sound was really lovely, wasn't it? Very nice and rounded. If that's not live, that's an amazing sound. I just felt that there was a crispness to it. It was so a real mellow sound. It was very mellow, which is why, for me at this point, it could still be a recording. Next. Where's the stage again? <laughs> Next to perform was Tim, the live act. Of course, he had to play exactly the same as the recording and give us exactly the same vocal nuances, or we wouldn't be fooled. Please God. tell me that was the live one. That was live. That was, um, where are you? I, I can't believe it. That was punchier, though, than the first one. It, it felt live. It, it did feel live, because for me, it felt like it, it was, was coming from there. Very directional, m very much so. Finally, it was time for the high-spec Kef speakers. £12,000 worth of voice coils, woofers and tweeters. Oh, 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 I feel like I'm yet to swear. Do you know, the parity of those three sounds is unbelievable. It, it was a fantastic sound, wasn't it? Yeah, extraordinary. I mean, you, you, it, made, it made goose pimples come up on my arm. 
Number three was a big kind of deep sound. I believe so, yeah. Number one was a mellow, softer sound, rounded, softer sound. But, but uncannily real, uh, as indeed was number three. Yeah, and number two... Just was so directional uh, that it felt like a real guy. It was decision time. Would we get it right? I think that Tim was number two. I think the live track was number two. I think the Kefs were number three. Yeah, I agree. The expensive ones were number three. And I think the modern shots were number one. Yeah, I, I agree again. The cheaper speakers were the first ones we heard. We'd got it bang on! Yes! Although it had been a really, really tough call. Oh, oh, that was tough, wasn't it? Was it was a great test, a wasn't really it? A really good test. Genuinely very, very difficult to tell the difference between the less expensive Morden shorts and Tim's live performance. Yeah, the 400 quid speakers, the live guy, they sounded different, but deciding which was which, it, for me anyway, it was, it was quite lucky that I guessed it right. <laughs> I mean, it was that difficult. These speakers, obviously, you know, for the money, £12,000, the Kefs, they're great. But if it's a live feel that you're after, you can't do better than the Morden shorts. In fact, don't take our word for it because you can listen.